Welcome to the Savannah, my friends. Hey, everybody. I just got back from a week, a whole week at Disney World. And I have so much footage, I think I'm going to make like three videos. And this is the first one. I'll go over uh, each, uh, like every two days per video. So in this video, I'm going to talk about the resort we stayed at. Um, the first theme park I went to, which was Animal Kingdom, and of course the hall with all the stuff that I bought. And this isn't a Disney DIY. I did Disney Bound, which I know I finally started calling it that. I did Disney Bound as two Disney characters during this trip, but not at Animal Kingdom. So I'm just uh, gonna wear this outfit that I wore at Animal Kingdom for now. But my other two videos will each be a, a Disney DIY. So just to explain why this isn't one. And the resort we stayed at this time was Saratoga Springs, which is based off of Saratoga Springs in New York, interestingly enough. So it looks like Saratoga Springs has had quite an interesting history. First, it started off as a spring with uh, health benefits in the water, and then it became an epicenter for horse racing and pro horse, horse shows too, I believe, like people winning like horse pageants or whatever. And then it became College Town with a big art theme, and still is. So I'd love to go see the real Saratoga Springs one day. That would be nice. Um, but the Disney version was was okay for me. Um, but the and the resort uh, took on elements of that. Of course, there was horse painting everywhere at that resort, and I didn't really understand why until I looked at the history. Um, also, there the food court food court, they don't call it a food court because it's like a deluxe resort, but it was a food court. Uh, it was called the Artist Palette, probably to pay homage to all the, uh, the art scene and all the art students there. They had a really nice pool with a bunch of probably fake rocks around it called High Rock Spring, which is based off the real High Rock Spring in Saratoga Springs. Um, I didn't go in it, unfortunately. I just didn't have enough time. I was so busy with other things. I did. I went to three parks this time, three different parks. I met up with some friends at Disney Springs that I hadn't seen in a long time. Uh, well, I got there really late at night. But the first, my first full day at Disney, I just stayed at the resort because, like I said, my luggage hadn't arrived yet. So here I am at Saratoga Springs in Disney World. It's raining pretty hard out. So it's like I left the Northeast just to come back down to the Northeast in Florida. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but there's classical music playing and. Uh, this is based off of Saratoga Springs Resort in New York, where I guess a lot of really rich people live and have horses. There's just horse memorabilia everywhere. More horse paintings. That's, that's the thing here. Horses. All horses all the time. And this is a painting of Saratoga Lake, I'm guessing in New York, from like 1874. And another one. What's it? And there's the hidden carousel in the middle of the concierge desk. I'm not sure why. And there's a really high ceiling, which kind of reminds me of the Haunted Mansion, actually. And again, more horse paintings and better classical music. And the carpet. And here are the paintings of the Disney horses. See, this one, Buck, who I think is one of the horses on the pillows in the hotel room. There's Khan from Mulan. And here's the hotel room. This is the front lobby of the hotel room, I guess. That's somebody else's room, so we're not gonna open that. And in here is a door with no doorknob. All right, I guess I'm not going in there. And we've got a lot of nice horsey photos. Fridge stove some silverware, a dishwasher, and a sink. It's fascinating. And over here is my station, because my freaking luggage still hasn't gotten here yet, and I don't know why, so all of the, like, 30 things that I own are currently going on this countertop right here. And some coffee table that we're not using with the big old TV, and some lights, and a lounge chair, and a lovely view, which I will show you in a minute. And this is the pull-out couch that my brother and I are sharing. I guess it's working out. And there's a nice little dining area right here with another big old mirror. I like that they have a lot of mirrors here. 
uh, because it makes the space feel bigger, which I know is like a marketing trick, but it works and I like it. And some Disney horses. I think that one's Khan from Mulan. And that one looks like Buck. I don't know. They had pictures of him in the front hall. And I think that's what those two are. And in the hallway, we've got our own laundry set up, which is nice. And then I didn't have to pack a thousand pairs of anything. And the bathroom is similar to the last vacation club resort we were at. No bathtub, see? Just shower with a sink. And this, I thought, was interesting, is the toilet is just in a room by itself. Nothing else in there but a garbage can and, like, a towel bar and more pictures of horses. <clears throat> and there's another area to the bathroom which is the the tub so we got a shower in one room and a tub in the other another big mirror and sink and this has a closet which i don't think the last hotel room had and here's all my mother's shoes and clothes and she's the only one that gets a closet today i guess and there's a wall and a safe well crap i hope no one took anything out of there that wasn't us but this is nice and big and there's the in case you want to sit in the hot tub you can open these things up and watch tv here in the master bedroom with another mirror and a chick uh i don't know whatever that thing is and here's the lovely unmade king-size bed and another chair and a desk for you studious folks another mirror and a view of the back, which does not lead out to our little patio like the last place did. So now I'll take you all out to the quote unquote backyard area if I can unlock it. Good job. <clears throat> okay. It's like a thousand degrees outside, of course, because it's June in Florida. So this is a nice little setup we have. Again, it's not nearly as big as the patio from Old Key West, but the trade-off is it is right across the water from Disney Springs. Right over there, which I'll try to zoom in, is a walkway from the resort straight into Disney Springs, and that's freaking awesome! I can't wait to take advantage of that. Oh, that's gonna be so cool. Um, let's see, what else can we see? Ah, uh, Disney Springs has changed a lot, so I don't know all of the names off the top of my head. Um, but I know that that is all Disney Springs. Um, there's some large hot air balloon there flying. Oh, and there's Cirque du Soleil down that way. But this is cool, and it looks really cool at night. Um, that evening, though, my mom had made reservations at the Maya Grill, which is at Coronado Springs, a different Disney resort. And I've stayed at that one before. It's all Mexican or Mesoamerican. Um, and we had like an hour to kill before the reservation. So we checked out the resort gift shop, which there was called Panchito's Gifts and Sundry. Um, so the second full day at Disney, we went to Animal Kingdom which is where I went last time. And I had some unfinished business there. And I still do, but I feel like I don't need to go back there for a while. Uh, I mean, like if somebody gives me the opportunity to go to Animal Kingdom, I'll definitely take it. But I feel like I got to pick up where I left off. <laughs> And this time I also got to go on Kilimanjaro Safaris in the daylight though. Sorry, Dad, so that <laughs> a blow of the hippos. Cattle are also known as Wachusi cattle for the tribe that first domesticated them. Those big horns do serve a very big purpose, their circulation systems. So the blood goes up into the horns, cools off, and then comes down through the rest of the body. A bit better. There is a Patterson's Eland out there to the left. Oh, that is a new thing, GNU. It's another name for them. They'll sleep in rows and they'll each face a different direction. That way they can sense danger coming in.
has three little cousins there, two, four, and six. And I show them Disney movies every time I see them. And because I'm actually, they're aware of what Disney is now, I bought them a bunch of souvenirs. And for the oldest cousin, who is six, and she's actually in school now. Um, and her uh, two favorite Disney movies are Frozen and Tiger. Uh, so I got her this this backpack again from the Shop Disney website, which it's got Elsa and Anna on it, and the Norwegian folk work, and we're actually Norwegian. These cousins on that side of my family are, is the Norwegian side, so I, I, <laughs> I'm so excited to give her something that's like meaningful to our people. Not that we've ever been to Norway, but it's still cool. Um, and it's got uh, the snowflake folk art on this side. There we go. And same pocket, so it's got pockets on either side. And what I think she'll love is that her name is on the strap. And I ordered her the matching lunchbox, which looks like the backpack. Although this only has Elsa's picture on it, but whatever. Um, my favorite part, which is so silly, my favorite part of this lunchbox is that it comes with a strap, like, you can wear it like a purse, let me attach the strap. So she can wear her backpack and her matching purse, and look like, just be so fashionable. Be the most fashionable kid in first grade. You know it. She's going to start first grade in a few months. Um, and I got her sunglasses as well. This is the case and has just Elsa on it. And then here are the sunglasses, which are purple with sparkles. Elsa's silhouette on the, uh, the corner. And the sisters on, well, Elsa on one side and Anna on the other. And for the middle cousin, I also got her a lunchbox. She likes aquatic things. Her her two favorite Disney movies are Finding Nemo and The Little Mermaid, which is also my favorite. So I'm very excited about that. So I got her Finding Nemo lunchbox. So cute. Again, on the Shop Disney website for about $10. So not too expensive. Oh, that's pretty good. And just like the Minnie Mouse one, it opens up like this. And I got her this bathing suit. This little girl bikini. It's so cute. Like, I wish I had it when I was four. She's four. Um, and it's just adorable. So it, it's a Little Mermaid bikini. And this is the top for it. And there's the back. It doesn't actually tie in the back. That's just like a fake out knot. You, you, she pulls it over her head. Um, and these are the bottoms. So cute. I actually have leggings with like the same exact pattern of them on this. And so does she. Um, but the cool part of this bikini are these fins that come with it. The fins are so cute. It's it's not actually um, closed up. You she can wear it like a skirt. See, she can like stick her feet through this part. So it's not one of those um, like swim like a mermaid actual fins. And but it is made out of the same material as the bathing suit. So if she wants to wear it in the water over her bathing suit, she can. Um, but her feet will just be sticking out, which is probably for the better, because she's only four, so, um, she, I don't think she would, I don't think it'd be a good idea to get her actual fit. So, that's a nice compromise. Oh, and this whole thing was $25, this whole set right here. Um, but it was on sale. It was very heavily discounted. I think it was normally, like, $40. Uh, but I was smart and waited until it went on sale. And I got her, uh, Finding Nemo sunglasses. Here's the case. So cute. And it says, what do we do? We swim. Like what Dory says. And here are the little sunglasses. They're adorable. Got Dory up on the side. And this is just some like little aquatic scenes from Finding Nemo. And these sunglasses also were about $3 off the, uh, they were, yeah, they were $3 on Shop Disney. The case was about $15, but they came together as a set. Um, so all together, I think it was like $18. Uh, but I cannot wait to give this to her. Oh, and to go with the bathing suit, I got... Um, get out of there. I, <laughs> I got her these flip-flops. 
to go with the bathing suit. They're Ariel, the Little Mermaid. So for the youngest, I got her Minnie Mouse stuff for the most part. So this underwear, this underwear was like 17 bucks. Yeah, but anyway, I got her something. And I got her this Minnie Mouse lunchbox. This was uh, also on the Shop Disney website, I believe, for about $12 but I think they're sold out. So it's got Minnie's bow and her ears and you can open it here and it has a bottom pocket that, oh, that something fell out of, okay. And, and I got her um, sunglasses. This is the Minnie Mouse sunglasses holder with Minnie's bow and they don't quite fit. This is the only way the sunglasses fit in here. Um, and Minnie Mouse sunglasses. This I got for my uncle. Um, it's it's Eve from Wally. -E. That's one of his uh, favorite Disney movies. In fact, I think it might have been one of the only Disney movies he's ever seen. And something else I got on Shop Disney was for my best friend who um, loves Cinderella. Her favorite movie is Cinderella. And she is an immigrant. She is not from the United States. She's in the process of getting her citizenship, though. Um... And so I saw this and I immediately thought of her for two reasons. One, because she loves Cinderella. And number two is because she's an immigrant. And it says Midnight Curfew on it, which obviously is a reference to Cinderella. And when you open it up, it is a passport holder. And she definitely has a passport. Um, and it has the silhouette of the Cinderella castle on it. And a little place for her picture. I guess she would put her ID or something little cards and this was ten dollars at on the shop disney website and i got this at panchitos it is a spatula and the rubbery part is mickey's gloves and it it has like the grooves of the fingers on it and and the uh the whatever those are the lines the wolverine clock i don't know and it's got the disney logo on the back which i'm not sure how well it's gonna show up in this lighting there it is okay yeah um but i love it because i love to bake and it matches very well with those mickey oven mitts i got the last time i was at disney so i thought this was pretty cool this was not bad this was only ten dollars i just wanted to whack people on the butt with it so that's what i did i whacked my mom and my stepdad and i threatened to whack my brother in the forehead so hard that the disney logo would be stamped on his forehead I went into the Circa Zong Bazaar, where I got that Expedition Everest t-shirt, like I did from my last trip. I didn't get the t-shirt again, but I, I bought some prayer flags this time, because I, that was what I meant when I had some unfinished business in Animal Kingdom, is those prayer flags really inspired me, and so, and they were selling them there, and so I got some. Well, the, the money that, they, that Disney makes off of these prayer flags, um, it goes, it helps former political prisoners ooh, of Tibet receive food, clothing, and shelter on arrival in the Tibetan exile community in India. Oh. It provides medical and financial care to former political prisoners. It educates Guchu Sum members in language and computer skills. Oh, that's great. Yeah, I know um, Disney's really trying to do a lot of good in the world, and that's, that's great. And here they are, Tibetan prayer flags. Uh, I haven't even opened them yet, so let's open them now. Okay, so let's see what they look like. Oh, it's a whole string of them. Oh, okay. I did not know that. Well, that's cool. So I got a whole string of prayer flags right here. With, um, looks like a, a horse, a horse picture on it. And speaking of prayer flags, I actually knowingly bought an even bigger string of prayer flags in Asia, the Asian section of Animal Kingdom, and here they all are, and it's like 30 feet long. <laughs> My neighbors are gonna have a nice surprise when I hang this on the porch. <laughs> this was about $10, and the material's different. This is like shiny and thin, and this is stiffer. Um, yeah, so I got these in, all right, so it was, again, it was like really, really hot out, and my brother and I were dying. We were melting practically. And there was a tiny little cart stuffed with souvenirs in it in Asia. 
at Animal Kingdom, and I practically got almost all my souvenirs from that cart. I got these prayer flags, and I saw this bracelet in the cart and thought of my other best friend. It's, it's a set of Buddha beads, but it also has the Hamesh hand on it, and a pink stone, which I guess we'll pretend is a tourmaline. Um, so I thought of my best friend who lives in Israel. She is not the immigrant best friend. She's actually American and she, um, moved to another country, ironically. Oh, wow. I have one best friend who came here for another country and another best friend who came from this country to another one. I, I know that she still appreciates her Jewish heritage. Um, and the Hamash hand is a, is a Jewish, like it's a Jewish thing symbol. I'm, I don't remember exactly what it means. Also, but her birthday is in October, so that's her birthstone, too. And she's not Buddhist, but she's always had an, a strong affinity to um, Asian spirituality, such as Buddhism, Judaism, and Hinduism. I, am, oh, I, was, I was thinking about her, and I know how much she loved the Asia's part of Animal Kingdom. I know she would. And the weirdest thing is, she actually sent me a Facebook message right after I bought this for her. She said, you're my best friend in the whole world and I miss you. <sighs> and then I texted her, I literally just bought you a bracelet because I thought of you and I know you love this place. So maybe that's the, the unfinished business that I'm carrying now for Animal Kingdom is that I have to go back to that place with her. Anyway, but I knew I wanted to get a gift from Africa as well because I spent a lot of time in Asia and didn't want to neglect it. So I got this. I settled on this. Allow me to demonstrate. Uh, take this part off. And it's insulated too. So it keeps hot things hot and cold things cold, which is great. And this is not going to fit. But anyway, you put the water bottle in there and then you close it over and then you can drink from it. So this is too big, but oh well. Um, and it has detachable strap. Uh, something that I thought was interesting though is that this strap is, has Velcro on it and it comes apart. I'm not sure why they did that. But whatever. But this was 17 bucks. Yeah, it's kind of overpriced. But at least it was useful and it came in handy um, when I had water with me and it didn't get hot from the Florida sun. So that's cool. So that's the uh, Animal Kingdom and Saratoga Springs portion.